back to reality. I love that show. It's very hip to be on the show. Best show since no other show. Happy Tuesday. I love you guys. You are hilarious. It's Tuesday. It's only Tuesday. I absolutely love you. You're thoroughly entertaining. I'm very excited. It's Tuesday. Now the Tuesday. Come on. It's showtime. Hi, everybody, and welcome to NSS. This is the Reynolds Report. Well, Fox has just ushered in the end of an era. The network announced on Monday that the forthcoming season of American Idol will be the show's last. American Idol Season 15 will begin airing in January 2016 and will feature longtime host Ryan Seacrest and current judges Jennifer Lopez, Keith Urban, and Harry Connick Jr. The final episodes will pay tribute to past contestants, winners, and fans throughout the seasons, serving as a celebration laboratory event. California is dealing with insane drought conditions right now. Reservoirs may have as little as one year's worth of drinking water left. And the state passed an emergency law last week ordering residents to limit their usage dramatically. But at least celebrities are keeping their lawns lush, green, and beautiful. Because what's more important than that? The New York Post took aerial photographs of several stars' properties like Kim Kardashian and Kanye West, Barbara Streisand, Jennifer Lopez, Hugh Hefner, and Jennifer Aniston. And they look just as immaculate as ever. Some of them are already making excuses. Streisand's rep says she's cut her water usage by over 50%, and she's going to take further steps. And Kim's rep says she and Kanye just moved into their place a month ago. She's already made some amendments and has, quote, no problem letting her grass go brown. I've been warning about this whole flying car thing, right? Well, a flying car crashed during a test flight in Slovakia Friday. The Aeromobile car's pilot was able to deploy a parachute for the vehicle, which helped ease the severity of the impact. Witnesses say the flying car went into a tailspin before the parachute was deployed. The pilot was taken to hospital and released without any serious injuries. The Aeromobile has been featured prominently in magazines and newspapers around the world, with promises that the flying car is now just right around the corner. The company has even boasted that they could release the vehicle by 2017. Uh-oh. Movie news, there will be a sequel to the Three Stooges movie. Yes, it'll be perfect for people who found the Paul Blart sequel too intellectual. Khloe Kardashian and Kendall Jenner were booed at a Los Angeles Clippers game. Well, I wouldn't let that get you down, ladies. I'm sure you only got booed because, well, you're two of the most despicable people on earth. According to a new survey by a dating website, Irish men are the world's sexiest. The survey was taken by people who've never been to a St. Patrick's Day parade. A list of the most racial spots in America is out. You can find it online by simply Googling Alabama. Sales at McDonald's continue to plummet. They should start charging $7.50 for a medium coffee. Hey, it works for Starbucks. Monica Lewinsky has been offered $1 million from a Las Vegas sex museum for the blue dress from the Clinton sex scandal. She could do a lot with that money, although knowing her, she'd probably just blow it. A dog in Arkansas had to undergo emergency surgery after it swallowed 23 rounds of high-caliber ammunition. Even worse, the dog was without a permit. North Korea claims that for the first time, it has successfully test-launched a ballistic missile from one of its submarines. In other words, Kim Jong-un has sent a clear message to Vladimir Putin that the crazy bar has officially been raised. The St. Louis Zoo received an 850-pound polar bear by FedEx. That's just a crazy waste of money. They should let the post office do it. Billionaire Carlos Slim is selling his Fifth Avenue New York City mansion for a record $80 million. I know what you're thinking, but that includes a washer and dryer. And the new comedy movie Hot Pursuit is getting horrible reviews. They say that Reese Witherspoon and Sofia Vergara are the worst team-up since Mayweather and Pacquiao. 
Thanks, everybody. We have a new episode of the Reynolds Report for you every weekday. Be sure to check out the Being Frank Show starring Frank Tangelo, live Tuesdays and Thursdays at 3 p.m. Eastern.